Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a romantic horror film called Inhuman Kiss. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Somewhere far from the cities inside the forest, four children are venturing towards an abandoned house as the night approaches closer. They begin to play the game of hide and seek, and the girl named Sai tells her friend Noi to go with her inside the house in order to avoid being found by the seeker. They decide to split up into different rooms, and the girl finds a mysterious box on the floor with the lead open. She approaches the container slowly and looks inside, but sees nothing but spider webs and dust. The girl lowers her guard and thinks that she's safe, but fails to notice a bodiless head approaching her from behind and grabbing her with the tentacles. Many years later, Sai has grown up to be a beautiful woman, and she puts lipstick on her mouth before she goes out for the day. The girl meets her friend Jerd, who's all grown up as well, and purposely shows his chiseled body before putting the shirt back on. He clearly has a crush on Sai as he tries everything for the girl's attention, praying that he won't be put in the friend zone. The man accompanies the girl to the local hospital, where she works as a nurse, but they find all her colleagues including the doctor missing because of the ongoing war. The two are interrupted by a visiting family that brought their son to be cared for after the boy sustained a minor injury on the knee. The mother tells them that the neighbors saw a demon with a flying head, known as a Krasu, eating their livestock at night. She tells them to take precautions by locking the windows and doors before they sleep, but Sai has trouble focusing on their conversations as the girl seems to be distracted by the boy's wounds. At night, before going to sleep, the girl takes the advice from the woman in the hospital and locks the windows in order to protect herself from the Krasu. She closes her eyes and begins dreaming, but sees mysterious visions of the abandoned house and the box inside. The girl wakes up suddenly, not feeling rested after the vivid dream, and sees that her room is a mess while the window has somehow been opened. She begins feeling a strange pain on her chest, revealing a red scar underneath her clothing. What's even more terrifying is that her sheets are soaked with blood that's probably not her own. Sai becomes extremely concerned about what's happening to her, and tells Jer to accompany her inside the forest, where she saw the vision of the abandoned house inside her dreams. They follow the road into the trees, but the night is approaching quickly and the young man worries for their safety as they venture further. Suddenly, they hear a footstep from afar and hides immediately, but it turns out to be their childhood friend Noi who moved away from their village a long time ago. They rush forward to greet their friend, but Jer sees that his crush embraces the other man right away, making him feel extremely conflicted as he senses a love triangle being formed. Their reunion is interrupted when a group of men arrives closely behind with guns, and their leader doesn't look like the humanitarian type. The group arrives into the village and shows their cages full of heads, claiming to be Krasu hunters from the neighboring town. Their leader, Tad, explains that Krasus are very dangerous as they appear at night and devours the livestock of the village, eventually eating the people as well. On top of that, the creatures can multiply extremely quickly as their saliva can infect other women, turning them into Krasus just like the monster. The villagers have a hard time believing this, especially the village leader, who's also Sai's father. But the hunters only request the old man to allow them to stay until they vanquish this evil for the people. Seeing that the men in front of them are heavily armed, the village leader accepts this for the safety of the villagers. The next morning, Sai wakes up in shock after more visions and throws up blood from her mouth onto the floor. She sees that the window is open again just like the night before, and there's even more blood this time on her bed. Sai looks into her shirt and sees that the red scars have grown exponentially, signifying that she's in fact a Krasu. What's even worse, she finds out that Jer has decided to join the hunting party along with many other villagers. Noi tries to convince his friend to quit the group as the hunters are dangerous and violent, but Jer refuses, claiming that this is the only way to protect Sai along with the people that he cares about. At night, the hunters begin patrolling everywhere around the village looking for the demon, and Sai begins to feel the sensation of transformation once again. Her veins turn red as all the blood gathers around her neck, and eventually, the girl's head detaches from her body, turning her into a terrifying monster. A sleeping neighbor wakes up in the middle of the night and sees that her baby is missing from the carriage, causing her to cry in agony. The husband quickly runs to the demon hunters for help, and the people run back to the village where they see a glowing demon flying across the sky. Tad begins shooting at the flying head, trying to kill the Krasu while completely disregarding the baby's life. After firing multiple shots, the demon appears to have vanished from the area, and luckily, they're able to find the woman's infant on the floor. 
At the same time, Noi sees the crossroad flying in the sky and begins chasing after the monster, eventually arriving at Sai's house. Worried about the girl's safety, Noi climbs onto the building towards the window, only to see that the head actually belongs to Sai as the girl reattaches herself. Sai regains consciousness, but realizes that her transformation was witnessed by the man she loves, which causes Noi to fall down from the ladder. The girl cries in agony as she worries that her love might never accept her after learning her demonic secret. Meanwhile, Noi has gone to seek refuge and wisdom from the monk in the village, who appears to know a great deal about the origins of the demons. Apparently, these creatures come in both genders, and the male demons are known as Krahans. The first monsters used to be normal people, but they experimented with black magic which caused them to turn into hideous creatures of the night. The monk knows that this Krasu must be someone very important to the young man, and tells him to make the right decisions following his heart. Shortly afterwards, Sai begins to transform again as she struggles on the floor, but Noi decides to help his friend after listening to the monk, and brings her numerous chickens so that the girl can satisfy her hunger without being killed. Sai goes to find Noi the next day, and embraces the man in tears, thanking him for helping her through this peril, and also accepting her despite knowing what she is. Their relationship becomes closer as they both begin falling in love. The man continues to feed the girl at night, which protects her from the hunters, and no one has seen the Krasu for over a month. Noi also received important information from the monk, who tells him that there is a plant which is capable of temporarily preventing a Krasu's transformation, although he's never seen it himself. One day, while looking after a girl in the hospital, Sai drinks a cup of tea and puts it on the table. Her work is interrupted when Jer calls her and warns the woman to be very careful, as there will be a full-scale hunt for the Krasu tonight. What they don't realize is that Sai's patient is looking towards the cup of tea on the table as she plans to drink it. The infection occurs very quickly as the girl begins transforming on the same day in front of her parents. The hunters show up immediately and seize the headless body on the floor while the demon hides under the table. After trying to remove the Krasu by hand and failing, Tad orders his men to shoot the creature without mercy, and they fire numerous rounds at the table, killing the girl as a result. The family screams in agony, seeing their only daughter die in front of them, while the hunter rips out the creature's heart and laughs maniacally. Because Sai was the only nurse working in the hospital that day, the demon hunter also begins suspecting her as the original Krasu, causing great distress amongst her friends. On top of that, Sai feels extremely guilty about the girl's death, and realizes that she might be killed very soon as well. Noi tries to comfort her, and tells Sai that they might still be able to fix the situation, as he found plants close to the abandoned house which might temporarily stop her transformation. They quickly go to the location inside the forest and seize the haunting structure, bringing back unpleasant memories of the past. The two decide to venture further into the backyard, where they see numerous glowing plants on the ground. Sai hesitates, but eventually takes one of the fruits and puts it in her mouth, which immediately alleviates her conditions. Noi quickly gathers as many plants as he can, while Sai looks at him and smiles. The girl realizes how much the man cares for her, and the two share a passionate kiss after finally finding a solution to her desperate situation. However, the celebration is cut short by the demon hunters who followed them along with their friend Jert. After seeing his crush kissing someone else, the man charges towards Noi and begins punching him furiously, while Sai runs away from her pursuers towards the abandoned house. She rushes into the room and sees the large box once again, but this time it's glowing red and seems to be drawing her closer. Sai begins remembering what happened that night many years ago, when the Krasu approached her from behind and kissed her in the mouth, transferring the woman's memories into the girl. Sai becomes possessed by the previous Krasu and begins killing her pursuers one after the other. Tat sees this and begins firing at the demon, but Jer tries to stop him, giving Sai a chance to escape. The hunter becomes furious and throws the young man off the building. After some time, Sai was able to return to her body, and Noi takes this opportunity to sneak back into the village alongside the girl. Sai immediately goes back home and puts the medicine into a safe place, while the village leader is notified of a terrible event that happened last night. It turns out that all the demon hunters were killed by the Krasu, and the only one that survived the attack was their leader, who also brought Jer back to the village. The hunter tells the villagers about the horrific encounter with the demon, and the man accuses the village leader's daughter of committing the mass murder. He manages to convince the people to go after Sai in a witch hunt, as the father tries desperately to stop everyone. 
Luckily, Sai is able to remain human by eating the herbs and appears in front of the people as a normal girl. She takes this opportunity to frame the hunter, saying that the man tried to assault her inside the forest. But Tat refutes her accusations and tells Jer to confess the truth about what really happened. After struggling about what to say, the young man decides to lie for the woman he loves by confirming with her story. The hunter immediately takes the village leader hostage, threatening the people to stay away. He then fires the gun, giving himself a chance to escape. After seeing the man run away, the village leader tells everyone to go home, while Sai looks at her friend with guilt, feeling ashamed for the lies that she told. Jerk goes back home, feeling emotionally and physically drained, but suddenly sees a person behind him who turns out to be the hunter. The man walks closer and proceeds to bite him with horrifying fangs. Meanwhile, Sai is able to stop her transformation by eating the medicine, but the supply runs lower with every passing day. Noi tries to solve this issue by growing the herbs, but the man's efforts prove to be useless as the plants all die before producing any fruits. He tries to look for the medicine in the location behind the abandoned house, but finds it all burnt to dust by the demon hunter who's determined to kill the Krasu. With no other choice, Noi tells his girlfriend that they have to leave this village and plans to escape with her tomorrow after sunset. Realizing that she has to leave everyone behind, the girl goes to see her friend Jerd one last time. She enters his room, only to see the man covering himself using a blanket and trembling in fear. The girl tries to comfort her friend, but Jerd tells her that he knew she was a Krasu from the very beginning, as he saw her eating the livestock on the first day. The only reason that he joined the hunters was to give them false information and protect Sai ahead of the huntings. He expresses great pain every time he sees the girl with Noi, but continues to protect her from behind the scenes. Jared reveals that he's also undergoing a horrific transformation after being bit by the demon hunter who's clearly a Kohan, the male equivalent of a Korsu. He begs Sai to not leave him, now that he's a terrifying monster who nobody wants to be with. The next day, Noi pays a visit to the monk a final time and tries to inquire more information about the Krasu's legend. The holy man tells Noi that the first Krasu was the wife of the first Krahan, but the woman cheated on the husband which resulted in her death, as the Krahan ripped her heart out from her chest. Ever since the first incarnation, the Krahan is destined to try and kill every Krasu on this planet. Before sunset, Sai prepares to leave her home permanently, but her father stops her and brings her to the public theater in order to show everyone that his daughter is not a demon. Noi arrives at their meeting location, but sees that the girl is nowhere in sight and realizes that something is very wrong. Without any more medicines, Sai begins transforming in the public as her head detaches from her body, causing everyone to scream in terror. Meanwhile, Jerd becomes extremely hopeless as he realizes that Sai would never keep her promise. The man screams furiously and begins to transform, eventually turning into a vampire creature just like the hunter. Jer flies towards the public theater with Tad, where the people are hunting the Krasu and grabs the woman's head from the air. He looks at Sai with anger and tries to kill her, but Noi arrives just in time to stop his friend. After looking at the girl and regaining his humanity, Jer charges towards the man who is truly responsible for this madness and the two begins to fight furiously in the air. Jer manages to knock the hunter downwards as they both fall towards the ground. The two continues to exchange blows, but Tad is able to gain the advantage very quickly and pins the young man to the floor. The hunter strikes the man in the chest and pulls his heart out, killing Jer as a result. The monster then turns the attention to the Krasu, as Noi carries the woman's body and tries to escape. Sai attacks the demon to protect her boyfriend and brings the creature into the skies. But suddenly, a gunshot is fired at the vampire's heart and kills the monster in mid-air. It turns out that the monk has followed them in order to help the lovers, and he reveals that he was actually the husband of the previous Krasu who was responsible for Sai's infection. He tries to amend his actions that caused so much pain and tells Noi to run with the girl towards the water where a boat is waiting for them. The man grabs the girl's body and runs towards the river, while the villagers chase behind them to finish off the monster. Noi arrives at the boat and puts the body inside, but notices that Sai is not coming along. The girl sees that her body is full of damage after being attacked by the villagers and sees no hope of surviving anymore. She kisses the man for the last time and they both cry knowing that they're destined to be separated forever. Sai cuts the ropes to the boat and sends her boyfriend away from this area as they look at each other in tears. Suddenly, a gunshot fired by the villager hits the girl through the head and kills her in the process. Noi runs towards his girlfriend and cries in agony as he sees the only person who matters to him in this world being taken away forever.
So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my video, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.